Okay, we're here post game with head coach Reed Ayers and uh, forward Danny Rupel and defender JT Tobinick. A 2 1 win for the Yellow Jackets over Worcester in uh, the 2018 home opener. Coach, let's start with you on uh, kind of your thoughts on the game. Well, certainly, anytime you win the home opener is awesome. Uh, I think tonight was a very gritty performance. I think we, we did some really good things. Uh, Worcester is a, is a very difficult team to play against. They put the ball under a lot of pressure. Uh, they just keep coming. They're very resilient. So I'm very proud of our guys. I think they, uh, they really fought for tonight's win. And uh, we made plays when we had to, and, and we got it done. Danny, you scored the first goal of the game, your fourth goal of the season. Um, kind of a goal that just sort of came about. It wasn't really necessarily a big buildup, uh, a turnover and a good spot for you guys. And, and Cannon gave you a really good pass. Um, first of all, your recollection of the goal, kind of how it, it played through, uh, and what it means to you personally to get off to a good start this year. Um, it's always good to get off to, to get off to a good start. I mean, in recent years, it, it's taken me a while to find the back of the net. But um, this year, I found my form pretty early. But um, walking through the goal, I thought I was off sides. And Cannon just played one in behind, and I hit it just because I was thinking the ref was going to blow the whistle. But uh, we ended up getting a goal out of it. So <laughs> take what we can get. Nice to start the game with a goal for sure. JT, how about the defensive effort today uh, against a Worcester team that was very aggressive? Well, I mean, first of all, we have two freshmen starting in our defensive lineup, and I thought they played absolutely out of their minds. But more importantly, the entire unit itself was just super organized, compact, and communicated really well. Um, unfortunate about the goal, but you know, we hung in there, and the last 10 minutes were a little chaotic, but we showed a lot of maturity and a lot of confidence in those last 10 minutes to secure the job. Yeah, Reed, the last 10 minutes of the game felt like just an onslaught of Worcester trying to build up and build up, and it I mean, it literally came down to the last sequence of the game. Sure. Those kinds of games are tough because sometimes you're, you're holding your breath or biting your fingernails or whatever and, and just trying to hold on. How do you try to tell your team to keep their composure in moments like that? Well, I, th I think it really starts with our leadership. I mean, you know, certainly the gentleman to my right side um, had, a, had a play, an aggressive play, and sometimes that happens in a game where it got turned into our net. And instead of it letting him affect the, him or the team. Um, the guys rallied around him. He did a great job of leading the group. And it's just um, it's just a matter of, of being assertive and making plays. Um, I think uh, uh, any you know any of those loose balls were were dictated by the by the back line. I mean, we we were first to almost every ball all night long, and that was awesome. Uh, the number of block shots we had was tremendous. So you get in those little scrambles, guys willing to sacrifice themselves, get to get in front of the ball. Um, you know, our goalkeeper had one save on the night, and I think that's a, a credit um, to our defenders and, and our midfielders that we're, we're tracking back, just getting in front of the ball and making it difficult for them to, to get clean looks. Danny, how about the relationship that you're developing with uh, not just Cannon, but Kurt and Cannon? feels like now you guys are all finally getting to play together uh, in game situation. What's that like? It's really nice. I mean, Cannon and I have always had that relationship since high school, and then Kurt and I have had the relationship from freshman year and then over the summer as well from Cleveland SC, but just to throw it all together, it's really nice, and I think it's coming along great. JT, uh, the, from a defensive perspective, when you're playing against a team that is so um, not just necessarily aggressive but persistent, it kind of felt like they were working with the same couple of guys every time on long runs. As a center back and working with a freshman center back, Talk to me about the organization of the defense and, and how you have to stay compact and together and working as a unit when you're playing against a team like that. Yeah, um, our young guys, especially Trevor, uh, did a very good job of communicating himself. He wasn't only eager to learn and listen from other guys around him, but he also gave out commands himself, which I thought helped organize the back line a lot better. And both of them were just outstanding in the air whenever any ball was played over top. Uh, they cleaned up everything, and quite frankly, they showed a lot of maturity. Reed, last thing for you is basically I'm trying to get off to a good start here at the beginning of the year. You got two wins in your first three games, sure. and in the one game that you didn't win, the team played well. Uh, what's it mean to be able to start the season on this kind of a note? Um. I mean, as, as much as we can, I mean, certainly it, we're in the results business, but we, we, we try to talk about the performance. And, you know, our goal, and, and the guys did a great job, is, is can we get better from the weekend? Can we uh, fix up, a, fix a few things and, and get better at it? Obviously playing a different type of opponent. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited because it's, the group is, um, um, they're hungry. They're, they're, they're grasping concepts. And it's like every day at training, we seem 
like we're getting better. So I'm very excited about that. Um, you know, certainly when you can get wins. Um, you know, we uh, we've had three, I think, very very strong performances to start the year. And um, you know, I think with this group, I don't think they're satisfied. I don't think it's a group that's going to get complacent. They're going to continue. They'll be up training tomorrow, and they're going to be working hard. And uh, we'll get ready for Manchester and Anderson on the weekend, and hopefully we can keep this thing going.